And hello, it's me once again, Gina, XXRAD Games. Gonna play some Commando Wolf of the Battlefield. Um, this is like the fifth time I've tried recording this. Um, so it's been interesting. Um, the second time just recently didn't record any audio, but it seems to be working now. So alright, we're gonna let's let's play some Wolf of the Battlefield. Shall we? This isn't really my favorite game, and I never, I never really grew up. Um, gotta fix the controls. Um, never really grew up with this game. I played. Um, there's a game called Mercs for the Sega Genesis, and I think the arcades as well. Um, but Spith, to me, is the same kind of game, almost. But I'm pretty sure this came first. Um, can't go, can't really go wrong with, with Capcom games. Um, Although, this, like I said, is not my favorite. I'm so pissed because I... Ah, I, I saved that guy last game, too. I was so happy. I'm like, I did it. I saved the prisoner of war. But not this time. It doesn't seem to be... Nope, I was going to throw a grenade. But no, apparently not this time. Okay, there we go. Um, but yeah, um... I've been checking out, you know, the games on the App Store, and uh, I really, really love me some Capcom games, um, so I figured, you know, this this looks alright, and it's fine, um, it's not my favorite, I really like, you know, Ghosts and Goblins and Ghouls and Ghosts better, which is, you know, obviously, um, but I also like 1942 better, um, the shoot 'em up with the plane and everything. Um, these are all like old, old, old school arcade games. A lot of fun though. I've, I've been really, I've almost beaten all the campaigns in 1942. But, uh, like I said, you cannot go wrong with Capcom. Um, and I, I think that's still something that, that you can say today for the most part. Um, so yeah, um, I really, I really dig their games and I've been really digging all the console, you know, all these games that are on mobile now, which, you know, um, before I had a PS4, and I had to stop kind of, I stopped kind of making, making these game, uh, videos, because, yeah, you did it, first, first level done, um, so yeah, um, I, um, had a PS4, and I made a bunch of videos, and I think the last one that I made was, Lego Batman 2 or 3 or something. Um, I mean, I, I made a couple videos here and there before, or, you know, after that, but, um, like, they had a Gal Galaga Wars one where it apparently got a lot of views, um, because I actually grinded that game to get the Galaga ship, but, like, I kind of stopped, uh, playing games because I didn't have a console, I, I kind of moved out of where I was living. And I just didn't have the money for video games. But, you know, it's the, the Tale of Lola's Time video game story, right? You know, you can't afford games anymore, so you just kind of have to leave it behind. But uh, I'm starting to discover that the mobile stores have a, have a ton of games. And so you never really have to kind of leave gaming, beh gaming behind. Not not if you really, really love it. And I, I, I do. I just can't afford it. <laughs> can't afford new gaming, so old old school mobile gaming it is for me, so but I'm noticing they're putting all these games on and I'm so happy to play. I'm so happy to be able to play all this stuff because it's it's really a lot of fun and I, I love the history of, of gaming and um yeah I'm playing the old, you know what Capcom used to put out because Capcom is an amazing Amazing game company, and I like their games. What's your favorite Capcom game? I know that's a very well, I'm engaged with my audience here, even though I have 20 subscribers. But what's your favorite Capcom game? If you have one, let me know because I'd really like to hear it. Because Capcom is such a versatile company that I think you could pretty much have a lot of different. You know, there could be many different answers. Like. Um, my favorite is the old school Resident Evil games. 
Um, so Resident Evil 1 and 2 and 3 on the PS1. And then I would say Devil May Cry on the PS2 were, were my favorite Capcom games. Other than like the old school shoot 'em ups. I am an old school person because I am <laughs> an older person who played old school gaming, but like games like Final Fight are like so fun and but they're classic and you can't go wrong with a good beat em up I think. Like I have a few on my phone here. I have Double Dragon, um Streets of Rage and stuff like that and I grew up with that. That was my, you know, back in the days of renting games, that was the bread and butter, right, you know? And that was always so much fun. I don't know. I love playing them. Oh my god, okay, I gotta just rush through here and get to the end. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Here I am, I'm like, I need to rush through the end, I'm not, I'm not listening to my own voice. <laughs> um, but yeah. Those are my favorites. What are, your, what are your favorite games like, or what are your favorite Capcom games, old school or whatever? You know, obviously I love the the, the Ghosts and Goblins series as well. Um, it was always that game they would play for a little bit and then just kind of stop playing because it just kicked your ass so thoroughly. And there's a lot of games. There's been a lot of games like that. Um, oh, okay. I made it pretty far, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna try again. We'll continue from where we were. But yeah, um, but I grew up on, definitely Capcom was a big, big influence on my gaming experience, especially as an early, you know, PlayStation adopter, basically. Oh, I got the top score in this one? Nice. Cool. Yeah, listen to that triumphant music that I'm talking over. Okay. Well, let's continue. Yeah, I, I have only gotten to stage three. Or stage four, I should say. That's as far as I've gotten in this game. Um, but yeah. Um, so like I was saying, what are, what are your favorite games? What, are, what console do you grow up on? I am an ancient human being who grew up on the Atari 2600 as her first console. Um, that's going way back. Trust me. Um, I played a little game called Jungle Hunt, and that was that and and Hang On for the Sega Master System were probably my favorite video games. I have a lot of uh, gaming in, in common with um, a fellow YouTuber called Kim Justice, who's uh, definitely way better than I am, but she has the same gaming sensibilities that I have. You know, with the exception I've never played Amiga and stuff like that, but, uh, but yeah, um, so, but I do love old school. It's, they're just, they're just a lot of fun. Like, you, you, as far as I'm concerned, you can't go wrong with, with a game like this, really. Except that it's not my favorite. <laughs> and it really isn't. It's, it's not the terrible, but it's not my favorite. Okay. Come on, we're just gonna move forward, move forward. We can do this. Nope, nope, we can't do this. Just gotta keep moving forward. So, I'm doing this, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong, I have other reasons to do it, but, um, getting back into YouTube has also been, you know, I just do this for fun, you know, not really, I mean, would it be nice to get popular? Sure, but not, like, it doesn't really matter to me. I'm just playing for fun, you know. I'm just recording for fun because I figure, you know, right now it's the uh, we're going through that pandemic still, and there's a stay-at-home order where I live um, because it's a pretty. This is a pretty shit area for um, like I live in Ontario, Canada, and the area I'm in is uh, pretty much has the dumbest people that don't listen to you know, medical advice, and they, they go out even though, hey, we told you, please don't gather X amount of people in one spot, and they don't listen because my freedoms, and it's awful. I just wish that, um, um, I wish the pandemic was over. I wish I was getting some tattoos, which is what I had going on, and I was starting my weight loss journey, and 
stuff like that that's it's kind of been a struggle with 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 um admittedly with the pandemic so you know once again i'm gonna do that youtube thing and be like what do you all do to kind of just fight the boredom is it video games do you, are you more active um working maybe you can give me some tips because i don't even know what uh what i could do to uh to help out my you know boredom here other than play video games and maybe go for a walk which you know that's about it really oh did i make it through oh yay i did it first duty finished just my first one though Yay! I'm a good soldier. I did, I did the shooting good. Woohoo! Look at me go. My mom would be proud of me now. She wouldn't though. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just being silly. Um, but yeah. Um, so yeah. I hope your pandemic is going well. I hope your your quarantining is going well. Mine is just okay. Um, you know what, let's play, let's play one more, shall we? It's been a real bore, I won't lie. Uh, and to kind of pass the time, I am on the internet a lot, or I read comic books and stuff like that. So if you're a comic book reader, um, yay, I know you probably, if you if you follow my channel, and my older channel, I used to do like comic book hauls, um, there we go. Oh, there we go. I used to do comic book hauls of like old school gaming or old school comics and and what have you, like Deadpool and stuff like that. Deadpool's one of my favorites, and I love the Fantastic Four. You know, I guess this is all stuff that if you're already subscribed to me and you've seen the videos, you know this. Um, now I don't really, aff I can't really afford to buy any, any so I'm just reading them reading the hardback covers and all that stuff, but, uh, or not the hardbacks, reading the digital editions and that stuff, because it's, it's what's available to me. Things have changed since I moved out, basically, is what I'm saying. Um, life was a lot easier when I didn't live, uh, at home and stuff, but that's okay, because I actually like living on my own, you know? I have no complaints. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I think that uh, I don't have much longer in this game to go. I think I'm going to die soon, probably. If I know my luck. Oh, we're at the boss. Oh shoot, here we go. Oh no, I am at the end. Let's see if we can do this. If we can, great. If we can't, no worries. It's been fun. Holy. Or is this just the game over again? I think it can't be the just... Oh my. I had two soldiers left and I could have won. Oh well. That was fun. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Um, I just wanted to, to kind of just do this video before basically get, taking this off my phone. Because it's, it's not my favorite game, but it's, it's fine. Um, expect a 1942 game for sure, because I have a lot of fun with that one, um, and hopefully more Googles and Ghosts, or even some Ghosts and Goblins gameplay, um, so yeah, uh, and, and tomorrow, tomorrow I get my Friday the 13th box set, and I'm so excited about it, so I'm probably going to do an unboxing of that for, uh, on here and everything, so, alright, I'll talk to you later, thank you so much for, uh, talk to you later, <laughs> Thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys. Um, who, you know, as little, big or small, you know, it doesn't matter to me. I do this for fun. So, thank you so much for watching. All right, and uh, you have a good rest of your day. Okay, bye.